Hello engineers and welcome back to Civil Nirman. Recently I received one query that sir while checking deflection in the STAD model it takes a lot of time because STAD is checking deflection for all the load combination. So what's the solution for that? So obviously you might say that sir load list is the solution. You can utilize the load list command and STAD will check your deflection for the load list itself right. But here is another hack. You can reset your deflection check as well utilizing the DFF command. So do you know that hack? So in today's tutorial we will understand how how you can reset your deflection check. Welcome back to Civil Nirmar where we turn complex structural engineering into practical insights. Imagine you are designing a structure and you want STAT to check the deflection only for the load combination let's say 101 and 102 and the deflection limit is set to 300 right. So generally what is the step? So here is the syntax you can check out. We utilize the load list command. Now to specify the load combinations for deflection check we use the load list command Command and this tells that to focus only on the specific load cases for the deflection criteria right so we will implement let's say load list 101 102 now we in the next phase we set the design parameters and we define the parameters including the deflection limit so for example for this let's say we have deflection limit as 300 so we will specify it as parameter code the specific code whichever the code you are utilizing AISC or Indian code and DFF 300 for which the deflection check is performed right now see core specifications ensure the compliance with the particular code and DFF sets the deflection limit to 300 and all means it applies to all the members in the model right and then we run the deflection check and after defining defining the deflection limit it will instruct that to check the design using the check code all command right and if your model all the members are within the permissible limit it will show you whether it is satisfying the deflection limit or not. Now here is the catch. As I said you can reset this deflection. Now you will ask why to reset the deflection parameter. See here is the critical part. See STAD retains the specified deflection parameter until its explicitly change. So if it's not reset STAD will continue to apply this deflection criteria to all the subsequent load cases and combinations and this might lead to incorrect or unintended results in the other checks or design. Now to avoid this you can utilize reset DFF option with a small value and this will essentially tell STAT to ignore the deflection as a design criteria for the further operations. So let's understand this particular segment with a practical example. Let's take one sample problem. Let's say we have 9 meters simply supported B and load combination 10 and 102 to represent the serviceability loads, right? And the deflection limit for this particular beams is 300. So if I count L by 300, it will be 30 mm, correct? Now, when we use this command, let's say the syntax is visible over here load list, parameter, code specification, DFF 300 and check code all right so for in that particular sequence when you run your stat model what will happen stat evaluates the maximum deflection for the load combination 101 and 102 now let's say it calculates a deflection of 25 mm which is within 30 mm limit right so that means our beam passes the deflection check now what happens when you set dff and how to do that right so additionally you need to follow this below sequence syntax so here is the syntax you can check out this so after the deflection check we will reset dff to value one right now let's understand why we are resetting dff as one so i'll add the syntax as parameter code aisc specification dff one and all so the entire sequence will look something like this so by resetting dff one what will happen see now stat effectively disables the deflection as a growering criteria because the allowable deflection becomes L by 1 that means for the 9 meter 9000 mm divide by 1 so ultimately it's 9000 right which is unrealistically very large so this ensures STAD wouldn't incorrectly flag members in other load combinations where deflection is irrelevant right for example strength load combinations and second thing you retain control over which load cases influence the design process so in our example if we let her run strength checks for the load combination like 201 or 202 STAD will no longer consider deflection as a design limit. Ultimately, 
By using load list and resetting BFF1 after your deflection check, you can ensure STAD evaluates the deflection only where it matters, keeping your analysis accurate and focused. So this approach avoids unintended deflection checks affecting our other parts of the design process. Now, if you like this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more such interesting structural engineering tips. And always remember, don't just learn software, learn concepts. Thank you.